The top five poltergeists call on camera. The most haunted hotel in Texas. The Minger Hotel was built in 1859 in San Antonio, Texas. It was constructed on the old battlegrounds of the Texas Battle of the Alamo. During the Civil War, the hotel was converted into a hospital for wounded and dying soldiers. With a history like that, it's not surprising that the hotel is considered a hotbed for paranormal activity. Over the years, hotel staff members and guests have had countless strange supernatural encounters. Some even claim to have seen tortured ghostly faces peering back at them when they look into the hotel's mirrors. The Minger Hotel has been dubbed the most haunted hotel in Texas. Mike Pate and his wife stayed overnight at the infamous Minger Hotel in hopes of witnessing some of the supposed supernatural activity. They got their wish. I'm here at the Minger Hotel. I think that's how you say it, Minger. Waiting for Mike. He went across the street to get some playing cards. Because we're just waiting for some sort of ghost activity. Nothing yet. We walked all up up and down the halls in here. It's a pretty nice hotel though. There's a flat screen. There's two closets. Here's one of the closets. Some space. And then there's another closet. With lots of space also. Lots of closet space. And that's about all there is in here. Hello? Mike? Hello? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My oh, poor you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is a ghost call on camera? Did a poltergeist rearrange their luggage? You be the judge. Get out. YouTube moto vlogger Vroom Vroom Dana is far from a ghost hunter or stomp believer in the paranormal. However, he does sometimes ride his motorcycle out to deserted or abandoned places. On this occasion, he's exploring an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere when odd things start to happen. was that? That man thought <laughs> creepy dog. I was like, what the f was that? First, a spray can seems to be thrown at Dana. He thinks it's a little strange, but otherwise doesn't really pay it much mind, thinking that the can probably just happened to fall from the decaying ceiling rafters. Oh, in Oh my god, f that f this place. Dude, I legitimately have goosebumps. Suddenly a satellite dish comes crashing down at a spot where Dana had just been standing. He decides that's enough and gets out quick. <laughs> I'm getting out of this. I am getting out of here. You know, I don't necessarily believe in like paranormal activity or ghosts or like that, but I was genuinely freaked out at that moment in my life. So is this a poltergeist or ghost caught on camera? 
or maybe just a homeless person who's living in the building and trying to scare Dana away. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Oh, in. Secret Shopper At a supermarket in Tijuana, Mexico, shoppers got a bit of a shock when things suddenly turned a little creepy in the canned food aisle. On the supermarket CCTV camera, we can see some odd distortions begin to appear up and down the aisle. But soon, things get even more bizarre. First a few cans fall, and then a second later even more tumble from the shelf, almost as if pushed. A confused shopper comes to take a look, and even a store worker checks in. They both dismiss the strange occurrence and just walk away. So is this an angry can-slinging poltergeist caught on camera? Or is it just a bizarre glitch in the CCTV camera coupled with some poorly stacked canned goods? You decide. Gonjiam Abandoned Asylum The Gonjiam Abandoned Mental Asylum in South Korea is said to be one of the most haunted places on Earth. The facility was closed in the 1990s, but no one knows exactly why. Many local townspeople say it was because the patients and even the staff began to pass away from mysterious causes. The locals claim that the building is cursed. Well, cursed or not, that didn't stop YouTuber K-Pop Dolo from exploring the scary Ganjiam Mental Asylum with his girlfriend Sarah. Oh sh! Yes! That door is cut open. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Hello? 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 Alright, got it. Let's do it. Inside, they find old patient beds still in place, burned out rooms, and strangest of all, footprints all over the walls. There's, look at all those footprints. What the hell? Why are there so many footprints on the walls? Their visit is fairly uneventful until K-Pop Dolo sees this. Kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Okay. God, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Oh, stop being so stupid, Andy. Just the wind. Now, a closed door opening on its own may not seem very scary, but here's where things get truly bizarre. When examining an earlier part of the video, K-Pop Dolo pans his camera by the exact same door as he is entering the building. The door is wide open. So did it close by itself and then reopen again? K-Pop Dolo claims that neither he or his girlfriend touched the door between the two shots. And then, to top it all off, many YouTube commenters say that they can see a scary ghostly face in the door as he points his camera down the hallway. But, what do you see? Is this a poltergeist or a real ghost caught on camera? 
or just a hoax? You decide. Ghostly Gurneys Workers at the Malda Hospital Morgue were understandably creeped out when they saw scary video from the morgue's outdoor CCTV camera. The video showed footage of the stretchers used to move bodies doing some moving of their own. Now, the easy explanation would be that the stretcher is being moved by a wire. Except, the stretcher moves in multiple directions, back and forth and to the side. So if wires were being used, it would require quite a few string pullers. In another clip from a different CCTV camera angle, we see a morgue worker go to collect one of the stretchers. The stretcher suddenly moves, the morgue worker jumps back and just decides to get out of there. So is this the work of ghosts? Are the spirits of the deceased still attached to these stretchers? Or is it just a prank or a hoax? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Happy Halloween everyone and see you next week.